Okay, guys, the kung fu guy is in the red. So the boxing student head movement, right? And kung fu guy came to challenge, wanted to test himself. Nice head movement, but look at the pressure by the kung fu guy. Notice his guard is tight too, right? And he's currently kind of looking more just like a boxer, but he's dropping his hands a little bit. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Wow. Oh, nice hook by Boxer. Look at that. Look at him. You see him blocking? There we go. We see some Kung Fu. He was blocking in a Kung Fu way. Right? Obviously, um, you can see Boxer's block and trap and do all that too, but it's a slightly different type of motion. So, but yeah, the, the Kung Fu guy's punches are crisp, man. And notice he, he's switching up his stance too, right? Look at that. Not bad at all. What kind of style do you think this guy is? Um, okay. Oh, yeah, he's tired. Not bad, dude. Okay. This might actually be even the best Kung Fu Dojo Storm. We're watching this in slow motion, by the way. So, Kung Fu guy obviously has an understanding of distance, right? So, notice him disengaging. I think the coolest part I saw was when he did kind of try some of those blocks. I mean, a lot of this is impressive. Oh, he's in this match, I think, besides eating some straights, he's, he definitely ate two hooks. So that was the first hook he ate earlier. And then somewhere around here, he eats another hook right there. You see that? So, but look at that one. He's finally kind of, he actually made something that you would, associate more with traditional martial arts he made it work and then i love this dance switching man he does okay there right there his his momentum was a little too forward right this like leaning forward thing and then he ate a punch there he does have this temptation or this habit he sometimes wants to put both his hands on his opponent, right? Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially if it's outside a boxing context. But look at that, and then he gets tired. So cardio, right? You can always work on cardio. Hey guys, I'm back in LA hobbling around, and I hope to get to PT my ankle soon. First of all, shout out this gym, Chu Xiang. We featured them before, but this one randomly popped up when I was doing my usual searches on Chinese social media. Obviously, if you have Chinese social media, go search them up. I realized after recording this video that some of what I said was dropping the hands could have been Kung Fu related, right? Because again, a lot of traditional martial arts, we train by putting your hands more close to the hips. So it's not to say that doesn't work, but if you train it correctly, you gotta watch Leota Machida, right? Machida was really good at sort of having that karate guard, but making it work in a more MMA kickboxing context. The other thing I didn't realize until watching it again after making this video, it almost looked like he was smacking this way. Some of it could have translated into palm strikes, right? So maybe he was trying something, I just don't know. I did say in the video before he started doing those cool blocks that he looked very boxer-like upon reflection that probably wasn't completely correct so i correct myself we will do coverage of ruckus's ultimate self-defense championship season two so look out for that go follow him if you guys haven't followed him already one of my goals is to try to do more savat stuff with coach nicholas Sinyak. so look out for that too a lot more to look forward to despite me unable to really walk right now we have to stay positive keep growing keep learning and also, final thing, guys, I might get a sponsorship from chess.com. You guys know I've been getting into chess, so I might work together with chess.com, guys. So we will talk soon. Lots of good things to come. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to press like.